Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to another vlog. Literally just got out of bed and brushed my teeth. This vlog is going to be motivational and productive. We are going to be doing all of the things on my list that I have been procrastinating and needing to get done, and we're just going to get things done. So if you've needed to check something off of your to-do list or just the motivation, because, you know, it's getting colder out, it's cozy season, I know we all just want to, like, sit on the couch and do nothing, and we're getting a little less motivated to do things. So this is going to be your vlog of let's get ish done the next two days that is what we're gonna do that is our goal wednesday and thursday i'm here for you so first things first is it's cardboard pickup today and we forgot to put it out last night and i don't think they came yet so we're gonna go put that outside first thing on the list because if they show up right now and i missed it i'm gonna be really upset because we have a lot of cardboard in the garage good morning good morning veggie wants water okay also first things first before i scare i was gonna say everyone in this house it's just zane and i but Okay, so now the alarm won't go off. <laughs> Let's get it. Like, um, that's a lot of cardboard. I need to organize it all and get it outside. <laughs> and I forgot shoes, so Zane's Tim's for the win. Discovery, I can wear Zane's Tim's with my brace on. <laughs> okay, much better. I hope they didn't come yet and I missed it on the ring camera. <laughs> I just put in some eye drops. My eyes have been so dry. Taking my wearing supplements, next on the list. her this morning morning gratefuls brand new page that's a good feeling i have to write down yesterday still i have them on my phone first one is similarities to my friends i just hung out with one of my childhood friends since we were like 11 years old this weekend and she moved to philadelphia so i really don't get to see her that often but any amount of time that has passed we're just so similar that we just click so quick we just think the same i feel like that's really good to find in a friendship and then also space for guests i love that we have the whole upstairs until we have kids that we can you know put our guests in and they have their own bathroom their own fridge it's really nice and then the last one i wrote down from yesterday is editing my vlogs earlier especially yesterday because she slept over so i was like oh, i just want to like you know after like a sleepover with your friends you like sit in bed and just like chat so we did that for a few hours yesterday morning so it definitely threw back my schedule and i had to edit so late and it just makes me grateful for when i just get up start editing and i'm done editing and working bailey's meowing at the she wants the blinds open when i'm done like editing at like three o'clock and then i'm done working at like five ish 5 30 ish such a nice feeling bailey down come on want piece open get off the counter get your ass off the counter yeah freaking frack you guys are a little bff song <laughs> Bailey, don't break the blinds. All right, I just wrote down today's gratefuls. We have some good ones that I want to share. Number one, being open to new things. I feel like recently in the last like month or so, I've just been really interested in things that I usually wouldn't be interested in. For example, like geography. Okay, this is going to sound really silly because I'm 25 years old. I knew like the basics of like certain countries and certain continents, but I didn't really know like deep into it. And I literally started like researching it. I did like a quiz a few weeks ago and Zane was so impressed. He's like, wow, babe, I didn't think you'd ever really be interested in learning about this. But I did a quiz like if you knew what countries were in what continents. I know it sounds so stupid, but I was never interested in school in social studies or anything like that. It just doesn't interest me. So now I feel like I have like a wider grasp. If someone were to quiz me, I feel like I know a majority of what countries are where. And then also, I was listening to, I'm catching up on Pretty Basic, it's a podcast that I listen to, um, and they had Madison Beer on as a guest, and they dove deep into, like, Marvel movies and, like, Guardians of the Galaxy, and the way they were talking about it, I'm like, am I just, like, shunning it away? Because I'm like, oh, I just don't like fantasy. And then I was talking to my friend that I was just with about it, and she's like, oh my god, yeah, like, for my whole life, I was like, eh, it's silly, I'm not into that. And then she's like, and then I tried it, and I really loved it. So last night... Zane is like, he's watched all those like Marvel movies. And I was like, have you ever seen Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> he was like, yeah, I love that movie. I'm like, would you watch it with me? He's like, yeah. So we put it on last night. Granted, I fell asleep in the last 20 minutes, but I will say I like really sat there and like really tried to just like open my mind and not be like, oh, this is silly. This is fake. And I was like, open your imagination, like try to enjoy. I thought it was funny. I thought it was like an interesting watch, but it definitely wasn't like, oh my God, I'm invested. I need to see the other two. And I definitely feel like I still didn't love the concept of like 
this fake orb and then like going to these like made up worlds and like all these things so i definitely feel like i'm still not like a super fantasy gal but i'm like oh i enjoyed it like it was fine but i wouldn't like recommend it to people and i wouldn't be like can't wait to watch all of them now but i'm glad that i tried it you know like i sat there and i really tried to like enjoy it and i pride myself for doing that because i feel like usually i'm like and eh, no i wouldn't be interested in that so as I get older, I'm definitely more intrigued by things. This is like taking a whole nother route, but I guess it kind of fits the theme of the vlog of like doing things and like just trying things. Or even the other night, like I went to a Marin Morris concert. <laughs> I literally knew two songs, but I had fun and I enjoyed myself and I tried something new. And I really liked her, so maybe I'll start listening to her other stuff, you know? Oh, then also for reading. Like I'm like, no, I don't like fantasy. I don't want to read about like dragons and stuff like that. But I see everyone raving about this book called Fourth Wing, and I'm sure you guys are gonna be like, oh my god, Alyssa, you need to read it. But I'm seeing people that don't even like fantasy that are like, I don't like fantasy and I love this book, it's so good. So now I'm like intrigued to try that because why not? So yeah, just very happy that I have like an open mindset as I get older to try things that usually I wouldn't be interested in. My second grateful this morning is healing because I feel like I'm walking so much better and I'm feeling so much better day by day. I just cannot wait to be able to wear different shoes and I can take this brace off and feel more comfortable that way. And then number three, just cause you know, it's the theme, just being productive. I'm just grateful that I am able to be productive in my days. So hopefully you guys are watching this on like a day off or you have like a day off coming up soon so that you could get all your productive things done too because yesterday i sat at the computer all day doing work so i'm like today is the day today is like my off day from computer work i'm gonna get all the other random things done are you having a good day mugs how is your morning going ready to go work out oh my god how could i start this vlog without doing this yay benji it's christmas how fun look at polly we love all right i gotta go work out Boogies, we gotta get this workout in. Come on, we gotta feel good. I think I can start going on walks now, too. I mean, Zane can't, so I'll be alone, but I love this weather, so I would love to get outside and walk. I think I can. This is what I look like about to get my workout done. I'm in yesterday's sweatpants and sweatshirt, but at least we're getting it done. Oh, and by the way, these Amazon socks that I recently got, I love them. I showed them in a recent vlog. They are so soft and so comfortable and so warm. So good with this productive day everyone we got the workout done i got my content posted on social media we got the podcast recorded i got my closet cleaned up and now we're ready to have an easy lunch so we can keep being productive so thank you so much to factor for sponsoring today's video i love them you guys know i work with them every single month they are one of my favorite brands to work with they are fresh never frozen meals they get delivered right to your door all you have to do is poke a few holes in them and microwave them for two minutes and you have a delicious, like, tastes like it was just cooked fresh in your kitchen meal. They have so many different types of meals if you have any preferences, vegetarian, pescatarian. I like the calorie smart. Well, all the meals are about 550 calories or less. And I've tried all the other categories as well. So even though this is calorie smart, it does not skip on flavor. All their meals are just nice and healthy. They're balanced. They feel really wholesome. They give you that energy for the day. And you don't have to shop for anything. You don't have to meal prep anything. You don't have to make a mess. And they have over 35 meals to choose from every single week. So you're always trying something new. 
And if you didn't know, I like to mention that Factor is actually owned by HelloFresh. I love both of them. And this feels like you made a HelloFresh meal, but you didn't have to cook. So whether you want to cook, if you're busy around holiday time and you just want something quick and easy so you have more time to spend with family, go Christmas shopping, whatever you need to do, this will save you some time and effort. Quick, easy lunches. And also they don't only do meals. If you want to do add-ons, they have smoothies. They have like apple cinnamon pancakes you could add on, egg bites. They have little dessert things. So I am so excited. This is my first time trying this one and it sounds so good and comforting for this time of year. Shredded barbecue chicken with sweet potato mash and it has honey buttered corn and toasted garlic green beans and i love that you can see them because i'm indecisive and i like to see a visual so when i'm deciding on which one i want to have i open them all up and i see which one i'm in the mood for okay yum let's give it a try chicken mm. oh there's scallions i love scallions sweet potato on and corn and green beans not at all oh that corn is so good if you guys want to try out factor you definitely should give yourself a little bit of a break throughout the week it's the best feeling when you forget you have it and then you open the fridge and you're like oh my god i have a balanced delicious meal that i can just microwave so you guys can head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code Alyssa 50 to get 50 percent off of your first factor box Again, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code Alyssa50 to get 50% off of your first factor box. You will love it. Go try it. Okay, now let's finish the Christmas decor in this room, shall we? We gotta get this tree up, all the ornaments on it. This is our little baby tree from our apartment. I actually need to order another one of these tree bags for our other tree because the box is kind of losing her life. Oh, also these. These go in like a big vase for decor. Gotta set those up also. You. And this is our little baby tree. <laughs> it's like shorter than me. Let's get it set up. I actually originally bought this bench for my closet room and it's just too tight in there to even use it. So it's been sitting in here. Still love her. I just don't know where I want it to go. But I've kind of just had it under these windows because the cats like to look outside. So it's like a little spot for them to sit because I'm crazy and I do those things like that for the cats. This plant is definitely gonna have to be moved out of here because that's gonna be weird next to the Christmas tree. This wood crate. Gonna go here. Got our tree stand. If you guys remember this tree from the apartment, it had so much flocking on it, like the fake snow. And over the years, it's just come off. It's from Amazon. Really great tree. It did us good. Definitely was not big enough for the living room though, so we repurposed it for our dining room. And it works out because then from outside, you see it in the window. It's nice. I should be in Christmas pajamas, shouldn't I? But I still have to shower, so I'm not gonna have dirty clothes for no reason. <laughs> oh my god, it's everywhere. Like, look how teeny tiny. This went to the ceiling in our apartment. <laughs> so cute. I want to keep this tree forever. Like, our kids can have it in their rooms upstairs one day. And it's on a big box at the bottom, too. <laughs> when we set it up here last year, we were like, oh, you're not gonna be able to see it from the window. You're gonna see, like, the top of it. So we had to put it on a box. Look how little and cute. I feel like last year I remember we decorated it and we forgot to put the lights on it. So I'm going to remember to do that this year. We're going to throw the lights on first. Oh my God, the snow is getting everywhere. This thing was like white, white. Now it's just like come off so much. So I'm not complaining though because it looks way better now. It looks like someone sat on it up here. Someone probably did. Was it you, Bailey? And we got to move this whole table this way because it's too close. here with his friend to help us take out the air conditioners <sighs> quick pause all right air conditioners are out and i just went ahead and put a bunch of decor on here i think i've had just about enough putting balls on this tree i'm gonna put this tree skirt under it the lights on here are definitely uneven but we're all gonna talk about it ready bench wow no star <laughs> I don't even remember what I did last year. Did I put a star on here? Okay, well, there's no lights on the bottom here. That's a problem. Ah! Did that help? Oh, that did help. Okay, that's better. Cute. Very vibey bench. What a vibe. Okay, I have this table runner that says Merry Christmas. See, I'm actually gonna layer it over the table runner I have on there right now. Cause it's kind of short. Mm. 
And then I got these guys last year to make like a centerpiece. I remember last year we used these candles that Zane got for our engagement. I put three of them in the middle. Okay, then I need some tweaking, but general concept. I actually just remembered, I think last year we did a Santa hat on top of the tree. So that's what I did. <laughs> okay, that's pretty much the rest of it. I just have these. I'm gonna swap out the cinnamon brooms that are in here. This was definitely not a permanent spot for this, but it just ended up here. So we're just gonna keep it here for now. Okay, well that's gonna have to move because that's giving me absolutely nothing. But I'm running out of patience for this now. So I think I'm done with the Christmas decor for right now. We will revisit when we do outside. Yay, fun, fun. I need to move that tree and that bench too. Okay, next thing, and then we're gonna make dinner. I'm gonna swap out these pictures for the engagement photos that I printed. Here are the befores, which are still absolutely stunning photos. Like, I love these. But it's time for a little upgrade. These are from, like, 2019, so let's replace. Ready? Wow, so much better. I am so glad that we did this. And I really need to get rubbing alcohol and get the sticker residue off before I hang these back up. But they do have like a yellowy greenish undertone, like tint, but I kind of like that. It's giving like a little bit of like a sepia vibe versus like these that I have up here are like straight, like black and white, no undertone. I feel like they're just black and white. So I think these are gonna look nice. Let me get the sticker off and then we'll hang them back up. All right, sticker residue is off. Look at this, I just realized too, us holding hands. 2019 Zan and Liz and us now. How cute. All right, let's hang these bad boys up. They look so good. That was first try, very impressive. beautiful just did a quick little vacuum got all the little like fuzzies from the tree and sparkles and stuff like that off the floor let's make some dinner i'm hungry tonight we're going easy peasy from the skinny taste simple cookbook i'm excited to try this out tortellini soup looks phenomenal all you need is four cups of chicken broth nine ounces of tortellini two eggs, quarter cup of Pecorino Romano, and two cups of spinach. I'm gonna tweak a tiny bit. I have frozen spinach, and I think I have Parmesan. Same difference. Let's cook. Like, are you kidding me? This is such a vibe right now with the Christmas tree. The sun is down, cooking. Such good vibes. Now I just need to play Christmas music while I'm cooking, but here's what we got going on. I have decided to double the recipe just to have leftovers, why not? And I have 19 ounces of tortellini here, and the recipe calls for nine. So I'm like, oh, I can just double it. I'm gonna use frozen spinach. I know that's like not the same, but we have it, so might as well use it. I don't know what else we would use that for. And then I'm gonna make my own chicken broth with chicken bouillon cubes. We need eight cups, and I did the math on the back of the container of the chicken bouillon, so I'm gonna measure out eight cups. We're gonna get that boiling and get the bouillon cubes in there and dissolved into the pot. And then also that means I need a half a cup of Pecorino Romano, so I am just grating that up right now. And then we'll start. So I was thinking about what pasta I have and what I wanted to use for a nice big batch of soup. And then I remembered I had this Dutch oven, and I was like, oh, that's like fancy vibes. Very light like rustic only thing is i took it out of the cabinet and it had like food stains on it so i was like oh i'll just give it a wash and i did and it's like really stuck on there so it's clean i promise it's just like really stuck on there like even if i scrape with my nail it's not coming off so i think we're gonna be all right it'll be fine so first up let's get the eight cups of water i got the pot going on a high so this water can start boiling It also says to add another one and a half cups of water, so I'm just gonna do that now. And if I were using fresh spinach, then it would go in at the end and just wilt into the soup. I'm gonna steam this in the microwave. It's a steamable bag, and then at the end, I'll just throw it in the soup. So I'm gonna get that steaming right now for six to seven minutes, and at the end, it'll just go in the soup and heat itself up. I better get all these chicken bouillon cubes unwrapped <laughs> so that I'm ready. If I went to the store, I definitely would have just bought chicken broth, but clearly I'm just using what we have at home. I did buy the tortellini purposely for this recipe because I knew I wanted to try it, but everything else I'm kind of just winging because I did not get to the grocery store. I'm gonna go tomorrow. One of the things I've been procrastinating that we need to do, so that will get done tomorrow. Beautiful. My tortellini only takes two to three minutes and then after you have to put in the cheese and egg sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that right now. I've got half a cup of cheese, four eggs, and we're gonna whisk it together. Also adding some fresh black pepper to taste. 
and give that a good whisk. It's like carbonara. All right, that's it. Now we just basically throw everything into the pot. This is so easy. I'm gonna drop in my bouillon cubes. Okay. Oh, that is dark broth. Hopefully that's all right. Brown food is good food, right? That might've been way too many bouillon cubes. Okay, we're adding our tortellini. I'm gonna lower the heat a little because it seems like it's getting a little crazy. Sure, three minutes. Starting now. I think I used way too many bouillon cubes. Hey, maybe it'll be a more rich flavor. It'll be fine, everything's fine. I'm actually gonna put the heat back up so that it boils the tortellini. Got our spinach. I definitely should have got fresh spinach. I don't, I'm not a big fan of this, but it's fine. So I'm supposed to be wilting in four cups of baby spinach. I feel like spinach wilts a lot, so I did like three quarters of a cup. Okay, tortellinis are floating. We're gonna add in our spinach. Get that all mixed in. Oh, I was supposed to add the eggs before the spinach. Whoopsies, okay. We're reducing the heat to medium. We're gonna slowly add in the eggs and cheese and just keep stirring it with a fork. Oh, it smells good, that's a plus. Oh, this is looking great. Okay, I wanna hurry up because my tortellini is gonna get overcooked. Looks good to me, I think it's done. I'm gonna get it off the heat so the tortellini doesn't get too soft. Look at my little assembly station, how cute. I hope this turned out good, I hope I did it right. It doesn't look like the picture. <laughs> but if it tastes good, I don't care. actually looks good all right honestly this doesn't look too far off i think i put too much broth in the bowl which is throwing it off these like shallower plates i think is better and mine's a little bit more green in color probably from the spinach but other than that it looks like it's gonna taste good so let's try it it was very easy and fun to make oh we can sit in here with the christmas ambiance we're definitely doing that i've got more cheese for garnish and salt and pepper just in case Actually, didn't put any salt at all. Didn't call for any, but the cheese and the chicken broth is probably where it's at. I actually feel like this is gonna be so good and comforting. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Zane really likes egg drop soup. And I feel like this is like that same like eggy texture. I should have got sourdough. Oh wow, she looks awesome. Thanks. Do you like egg drop soup or am I making that up? I love egg <gasps> drop soup. Okay, so this might have a similar concept. Yeah? Yeah, similar like egg texture in there. Mmm, this is delish. I think fresh spinach, definitely. But I thought I put too many chicken bouillon cubes, but I didn't. It's pretty good. There's some salt. What is this right here? Is this egg? Yeah. Um, it's egg mixed with Parmesan cheese. Like a carbonara sauce, but in the water. Oh, wow. I think with a little salt. Hmm. It's better. I mean, yeah. to be honest, mine kind of didn't need it. I'm just a oh. fan. I think it's delicious. It's good. It's yummy. It was easy to make. Comforting. I would make this again. Mm-hmm. Literally, too. You just boil the chicken broth, and then you throw in the tortellini. Oh, you then... cook the tortellini in the chicken broth? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's all one pot. And then you mix the eggs, scramble the eggs with fresh cheese, and you put it in there with the spinach. <laughs> what? That's it. I feel like it's gonna be a winter staple, especially if it's easy. Yeah. I don't even mind the frozen spinach either. Yeah, I actually don't either. Kitchen is nice and cleaned. I emptied the dishwasher, reloaded it. What a vibe. Benji! <gasps> And muggies! You guys are so cute! Benji, you blend in with that blanket. Aww. I love also the reflection in this door. We're gonna turn off the trees and take a shower and go to bed. How's that sound? Good? I feel lovely. Fresh and clean out of the shower. I'm gonna try to use my Dyson Air Wrap for the first time with the bob. I have yet to try it. I will say that I do remember the air wrap working better when I have my extensions in. My like real hair is just so fine and thin, it doesn't hold as well, but let's try it. I'm gonna give it a gozy. I'm gonna do a rough blow dry with the regular blow dry attachment, and then I'm gonna go in with the shorter, thinner barrels. I'm gonna do half up to really make sure that we do it right. Okay, so I do it on hot for a few seconds, and then if you take this button here and push all the way up, it makes it cold temporarily, so I do like a cold shock so that it holds its curl better. It's definitely gonna fall, so I'm just gonna do it super tight, especially since I'm sleeping with it overnight. It's gonna look so short. I'll be back. Wow, this is a look. 
Now I know that I should never cut it this short. I'm gonna hairspray and I'm gonna sleep with it like this and let it fall overnight. Here's the back. We'll see what it looks like in the morning. Alrighty, good morning. Here is how the hair turned out. I think it's cute. It looks textured, a little bit curled. I feel like that's what I was expecting. I knew it was gonna like fall at night. I didn't take a brush to it. I've just been kind of just running my fingers through it here and there and I look like I'm ready to go. So it definitely made it look a lot shorter, which is funny, but I will take it. We're just about to go out. Zane has his follow-up appointment. We're gonna try to get him at MRI today, see if like really what's going on in there, if any tendons are like seriously torn that he'll need like a surgery or anything, you know, more rest, whatever. It's just good to have a follow-up. So we're gonna go to that. And then depending on what time we get the MRI, I have a bunch of errands to run, returns, groceries so it's gonna be like an out and about fall day so i was just like let me just be comfy cozy my amazon brooklyn sweater my tried and true lululemon and then i'm just wearing some black leggings and i have my brace over this one <laughs> and i'm gonna wear just my birkenstock slides because those are like the most comfortable shoes with the brace right now so let's go have a little out and about day and get things done i have needed to grocery shop and do returns for a good amount of time now one of my errands includes two Poshmark orders that just sold. So I'm just gonna get those packaged real quick. I'm trying to print the labels, but my printer's been giving me problems. I'm not sure why. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know why my printer's been giving me issues because I know I have ink in there. I have these cute little things that say, thank you for shopping in my closet. <laughs> Put it in there for funsies, you know? We gotta go. This paper is the wrong way. Okay. Okay. I'll just bring packing tape and the labels and we'll do them in the car. <laughs> Let go. All right, we just left the doctor. She gave him like a little shot in his foot to help some of the, like the inflammation and stuff. And then he is getting an MRI, but we just don't know when. So in the next like few days, we're gonna get him an MRI and make sure everything is going good in there. So that's the update on that. Now I'm at Walmart, I'm gonna run in, get a few groceries, do the return and run out. So sad, I wish you could run errands with me. Dude, <laughs> I, don't I do wanna too. wanna go alone. I do too. I'm, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna put you in a shopping cart. I'm gonna get you one of those carts. Oh, scooter. Should've brought it. Okay, hi, I didn't vlog in the store, sorry. I just was running in, running out. So I will show you everything that I got. We went to this other Walmart that we don't usually go to on the way home, and they had no fresh produce. So Zane wanted some fruit. We needed some other things at Lidl. Don't tell anyone, don't tell no one. So I went to Walmart and Lidl. Show you what I got at both. Our robot vacuum is going, so sorry about that. But Zane wanted some bananas, blueberries, and blackberries. This is all from Lidl. I got some arugula because lately I've been making things and I'm like, oh, I wish I had arugula. So now I got some. I just can't pass these up. These are just like my favorite. I love these cookies. So I got the Christmas tree. So cute. Just good to have, you know, you just want a little treat. And also they made them safe to eat raw now, so. Yeah, no. but I like them warm and hot and gooey. I got this garlic and herb goat cheese, not for a specific reason, just to have for like cooking and stuff. Cottage cheese, love me a good cottage cheese toast. And then I got a few little steaks. I think we're gonna have one of these for dinner tonight. I think the skirt steak will marinate another night and then I'll have Zane just make these little sirloin steaks and then I'll make some sides. Then we have Walmart, got some butter. We literally have no butter. Our family was here last weekend and Zane's brother was like, you have cookies? Let's make some cookies. And I was like, oh yeah, I have this cookie mix. And then I went in the fridge and I was like, I don't have butter. Who doesn't have butter in their fridge? That's like such a staple household ingredient. I just stocked up on some chicken broth. It was on sale. And as you guys saw cooking last night, I had to use chicken bouillon cubes, which is fine, but these are just good to have handy in the pantry. Got this cute little card. I have my friend's engagement party this weekend and I couldn't find an engagement one. So this says congrats on your wedding. So it's gonna get crossed out and we're gonna write congrats on your engagement. <laughs> And then I got lots of bread because we needed a bread stock up. I got English muffins because I haven't had those since I was like a kid, I feel like. And well, I've gotten them here and there, but it just sounded so good. Some butter on them, toasted, yum. I got two things of bread because we go through it like water. And I got buns because we have turkey burgers and no buns. And that's everything I got on my journey. I did my Amazon returns. I still have like two things to do-ish. So we'll see when I get to that. But one step at a time, I'm gonna put all this stuff away and eat lunch, we're hungry. I'm gonna have my leftover soup. I toasted a piece of bread to dip. <laughs> I air fried it. Mm. 
Lunch has been had. I've been on my computer. I got a few little things done. I had a brand deal to do. I got a reel just filmed and edited. And now I think I'm gonna run back out to the store. It is 4.08. It's about to get dark real soon. But I'm gonna run out real quick and get my Abercrombie return done. Slash also like check what they have at the store, you know. And actually also before we do that, I'm gonna stop at USPS too and see what type of stamps they have in person. So I don't have to order them online. Just see if they have anything cutesy. Let's do it because they close at five. It's getting dark. It's getting cold. So I had to bundle up a little bit. I threw on my little Abercrombie puffer. The Abercrombie that I'm going to is at a tanker outlet. And I always park in the wrong spot. So I'm hoping that I can get it right today. And I don't have to walk a bunch in the cold. So we're gonna go do that. I'm also bringing a save the date with a little wax seal to USPS to ask them their opinion. Like, I think some people are saying you need like a more expensive stamp with these wax seals. I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ask and see if they have stamps in person. If not, I'll order them, but it'll be better to have them now so we can get these things out into the mail <laughs> so I don't have to wait for them to come in the mail, the stamps. So we'll see if we can get them in person right now. Let's go. Okay, we have made some great progress. Also, I'm just getting all the feels pulling into Tanger. I'm like, oh my God, it's holiday vlog time. Like I saw... One of you guys comment somewhere recently that was like, it was so cute. It was saying how my like holiday vlogs like just make you feel all warm and cozy basically about like wrapping gifts and shopping and just holiday vlogs in general. And I feel the same way. Like I am so into watching YouTube right now. It's my favorite time of year to watch vlogs, which I feel like is a big reason why I haven't picked up books as much, but I started reading a little bit last night again. I just need to finish this book that I'm reading currently, but I feel like all my free time, I just want to watch people's vlogs of them like shopping and Christmas decor and all of the above. Oh, it just makes me feel so warm and fuzzy. Anyways, I stopped at USPS and the lady was so nice and helped me out. I showed her the wax seal and she did say I need like a higher like priced stamp. It's like an extra stamp. And she had two options there. One was a butterfly and the other one was flowers. And the flowers I definitely would have settled for. They were fine. But I was like, are there more options online? She was like, there's so many options online. So I was like, perfect. Let me just do that then. It's fine if they get out a week from now. It's not gonna make that big of a difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and order those online as soon as we get home. I have pulled up to Tanger and Abercrombie is literally right here. Like that is the sign for it. So I don't know why I've gotten lost in the past. Maybe they updated maps to bring me to the right place because I would always park where maps brought me because I just thought it was correct and I would always have to walk so far. So now literally it's right here. And if we watch back last year's vlogs, I feel like I did the same thing or like two years ago. I feel like I complained about me getting lost in here. Anyways, almost dark now. So I'm gonna walk in before it gets pitch black and do my returns and see if there's anything else that I want. I'll let you guys know. And my camera's dying. Ah, why? Me with my one white sock and my brace. <laughs> look at it. Look at all the Christmas lights. <laughs> Jerry was just talking about this on the pod, saying that it's so nice here. Oh, vibes. I love it. And the best part is that it's not freezing yet. Look at the trees. Like the trees here on Long Island right now, they are beautiful. But when it gets like really cold that's when it's not that fun right now it's it's doable you know look at it <gasps> the red fall trees with the christmas lights good combo i'm gonna enter right over here maybe it's beginning to look a lot like christmas this is not the entrance okay okay well in good news I've returned the two jeans. Everything in the store was buy one, get one 50% off, but I was like overwhelmed. I definitely want to get Zane some stuff for Christmas. Their stuff is just such nice quality. Like even when I was just like feeling them, just their simple like sweaters, like hoodies. Oh, everything's just so nice. I, I love Abercrombie, but I think I'm gonna take advantage of that online when it's Black Friday and I'll just order him a bunch of stuff. And if he wants to return it, that's fine. But it was a really small store and I was just like, I don't know what I want. And I'm just like walking around aimlessly. So I just left. I do want another wash of denim in those pants that I just got but I need short and they don't really carry short especially at the outlets so I was like you know what let me just do an online order instead of walking around here and let me head back home I'm gonna head home and I think I'm gonna start getting the save the dates all collected so that by the time the stamps get there I can just throw them on there and send them out that's next on the list but I got all my returns done so I'm a happy girl I just got home you guys and I don't know I know everyone like hates on when it starts to get dark earlier but low-key when it first happens and you like put up the Christmas tree and you're like you look, look at the clock and you think it's gonna be so late but it's like 5 30 p.m literally it's like 5 40 right now pitch black but so cozy like with the christmas tree i just feel like it's a vibe like i'm about to sit on the couch and get my little reel up and then zane and i are gonna make dinner like life just feels slower more chill more relaxed more cozy like our little kitchen with our little christmas cutting board and our uh, like 
don't know i find so much peace in like just this right here like just sitting on the couch with my christmas tree i'm gonna just chill right here for a minute oh dreamy dreamy i love it Dinner was absolutely delicious. It's been a little bit and now it's snack time. <laughs> so I just got in bed in my PJs. I don't know. This is my like random combination that I just came up with that I feel like I'm really gonna like. I love salt. I'm way more of a salty than sweet person. So I wanted like a salty snack and I went in the fridge and I was like, oh, let's have some cottage cheese. And then I was like, how can I like beef it up though? So I'm not just like eating cottage cheese by the spoonful, which is absolutely delicious. Would it knock it? But I wanted more. And I remembered I got arugula today. So I did arugula, cottage cheese, hot honey, and then I put everything bagel seasoning. Let me take a picture of it before I get into it. Just in case, it's really good. I just put ice on my ankle since I've been walking on it a lot more. I think it's getting a little bit irritated and swollen. It's so cold. But let's give this a try. I feel like it'll be good. Let's see. Mm. Oh, with the hot honey. Mm. Oh, that is delicious. I feel like this is gonna be my new fixation for the next like two weeks. Mm, mm, mm. Yum. I think it's funny that recently cottage cheese became this like trendy thing. OGs know how obsessed I am with cottage cheese. Like I used to have cottage cheese on toast almost every day of my life. I go through phases with it for sure, like any other food I feel like, but I love my cottage cheese. It was great. I got a lot of things checked off my to-do list today, but I definitely got a little lazy after dinner and I did not do the invites. So that's gonna have to happen tomorrow. I need to order the stamps and package all the invites up. I'm gonna finish relaxing for the rest of this night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, happy Friday. It is vlog day, so I am up on my computer. Just gonna focus up for the next few hours and get this vlog done. It's been doing me good this routine on Tuesdays and Fridays. I just get up, just get to editing. That way I'm not working super late. I can get the vlog up by like two o'clock-ish and then finish the rest of my other work that I need to do by like 5.30 and I start around like 8 or 9 a.m. So it's been like a good routine for me. If I do anything else, then I get to editing late at like 12 o'clock and then I'm editing until like eight o'clock at night, nine o'clock. So this is just better for me. I ignore the rest of my to-do list, which is really hard, but right onto the computer. I got some eye patches on. I think I already imported the footage for this vlog too, which is helpful. So time to edit. I'll be back. 12.03, I finished editing, I'm watching it back. I started at like nine. Pretty good. Love to see. If I just that. sit here and focus and don't get distracted, well, by the time I do thumbnail and links, it'll be like two o'clock. But it's fine. For dinner tonight, I was just like, oh, we'll just have like frozen turkey burgers. And then I was like, it is Friday. We have a free night. It's a weekend. And Zane did just get this for me for our anniversary. So I'm like, why don't we do a food thing? I don't think this has a food, baby. Interesting. Staying at home, going out, having a day, a surprise. I think they do involve food, but it's just not a food category, if that makes sense. Right. You want to be able to know what it is. Right. You want to grab the book, then? What do you think? Because then if we open one, we're going to spoil it. Like. Yeah. Is this from Etsy? Yeah. I think we should just do Stargazing. the... Stargazing. We yeah, should do the food I, one. I, yeah, I don't know if these are going to have food. All right, let's do an adventure challenge book. Donde? Somewhere. It's on display somewhere. I think it might be on the coffee table. You want me to go? Yeah, can okay. you? <laughs> yeah. And look at this ornament and tell me which head you want. You have to pick a head. I think I should put two, like me on the outside, you on the outside, and the three cats in the middle. And then we have to pick a cat, too. I think D4, what do you think? D4? Yeah, that looks pretty accurate, actually. I like that one. I was wondering what you would pick. I found a cute Etsy ornament. You guys will see it when it gets here. But we have to pick our little people. I think I'm gonna do 74. No Bob? No Bob. <laughs> 74 is a good pick, good color. I think it's the one on here too, and that looks like me. Oh, it does look like it, yeah. So I'll do me, three cats, you. Do it. That'd be cute, right? Yeah. Look how many cat options. Oh, my chonkers. Yeah, we, Let have, me to, see. we have to go through and pick. They have all the different cat breeds. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like that one's like Ben, JD7. See, they have Maine Coon, but Bella's multicolored. Color like that. Okay, we'll go through and pick. We're going in our good old adventure book. I love this book. Facts. 
What a book. What a book. Food with Bay. We've already done two of them, if that says anything about us. Recipe for disaster or gourmet college student? You're like, think. neither. No, 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 I'm trying to think what those would both entail. Gourmet college student, I feel like you'd cheap. have to go and try to make a gourmet meal for cheap. Yeah. Let's do recipe for disaster. Okay. Oh, God. What? Go to a bookstore and pick out a cookbook. Ask a stranger to open the book and pick out a recipe of their choosing. This is your meal for the night. You can either purchase the book later for later use or just take a picture of the selected recipe. Enjoy making whatever random meal has been selected for you. Interesting. That's cute. Okay. I like that. We don't have to ask a stranger if we don't want to. We can just like turn to a random page of a random cookbook maybe. I mean, we could do either or. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're encouraging you stealing a recipe. They said, take a picture of it. You don't have to buy it. Do you want to go out to a bookstore and then do all that? Or would you prefer to oh, like you just use one of our random cookbooks? Yeah. Then we're not doing the here. challenge, huh? Well, we're going to have to go out and get the ingredients anyway. Yeah, it's up to you. We can do either or. I feel like it would be cute to go to the store and go to like a random person. Like we'll pick someone that looks like they're willing. Just be like, hey, we're doing like a little date night thing. Could you just pick like a random recipe for us and we're going to cook it tonight? Like, okay. I feel like that's not that weird. No, I don't cute. think it's weird at all. Yeah. The only thing I'm thinking of, honestly, is just my walk is limited. So I don't yeah. want to walk around a bookstore. 107, and we are exporting everyone. Okay, so we scratched off an adventure challenge earlier, and it's really cute. You like, what? We're order 128. Shut up. Yeah. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. Um... We scratched off a adventure challenge before, and it was like to go to the store, find a random cookbook, get a stranger to pick one for you, go get all the ingredients, cook it. And to be honest, I don't know, I've been like PMSing the last few days. I've been like cranky, cranky. And that was a while ago, so come now time, I'm like, ah, I don't know. And Zane can't even walk around the grocery store with me. I'd rather do that one when he can like do it with me. So he's like, what would like really make you happy right now? I'm like, why don't we scratch another one? Actually, it was his idea. Why don't we scratch another one? And I was like, Let's do one that like is like um like a connection one because that would make me feel really happy. So we scratched a different one and we decided to order Japanese food, go pick that up, stay home. We're gonna do this little cute connection one and then also package our save the dates. And that's gonna be our night and watch some TV. So we're pivoting, it's fine. We'll we'll still do the other adventure challenge just another day when I'm feeling it more and Zane can walk more. So this one says, go online and both of you take the five love languages test, which we both have done, but we're gonna redo it now because it's been a few years. Write your partner's love language on a piece of paper and ask them two to three ways that you can love them in their love language. Write their answers down on the paper and then put that piece of paper on your bathroom mirror. Collaboratively plan a date that focuses on these love languages. Complete the planned date within one week. So Zane and I are both gonna take the love language test. We're gonna write down two to three ways that you can love them in their love language on a piece of paper. And we're gonna make up a date that combines both of our love languages and do it within a week. That's really cute and sweet and simple. We could stay home, order in, and we'll do the other one when I'm feeling a bit more chipper, you know? Cat, stop fighting. We need good vibes, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, in good news, I did finish all my work by like 5 p.m. So that's good. Now I'm off for the weekend. I think I'm gonna actually not even vlog. I'm just gonna enjoy the weekend. I have my friend's engagement party and take Sunday to just like clean the house. Zane was like, yeah, the bathrooms need a deep clean. <laughs> I gotta get to it. Yeah, so I think that'll be good for me. Take a little, small little break. Okay, you wanna get the food first or do this first? The food said, excuse me, it's gonna take 45 minutes. Oh, okay, so let's do the love language test. Yeah. Okay. You wanna do it in your office or you wanna just grab your laptop and do it in bed? You Whichever. wanna do it in bed. Whichever. I'm good with whatever too. All right, I did my quiz first, and by no surprise, <laughs> nothing has changed. Acts of service, 33%. Receiving gifts, 23. Quality time, 20. Physical touch, 13. Words of affirmation, 10. Zane's are opposite. Zane's is gonna be physical touch, words of affirmation. Quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service. <laughs> That's gonna be yours, gonna be I complete think, opposite. Yeah, I think acts of service is gonna be last, but I don't know about the other ones. Let's see. I think yours is words of affirmation last time. All right, here's Zane's. Is that accurate? I thought. Physical touch would be higher up, but I yeah, think it's because- Yeah, it is at the bottom. I think it's because a lot of the ones where physical touch was an option, I would prefer like quality time. That's very or words sweet, of affirmation. Aww. You do like words of affirmation. This makes sense though. Yeah. I like it. And it's funny to dive deep into this because he'll do what he wants for me, to me, 
as his love language and I do what I want. Like I come home from the grocery store or the store and I'll buy him a shirt or like a little chocolate if I was thinking of him because that's my love language is like, I was thinking of you, here's a gift versus he's more words of affirmation, like tells me I look beautiful all the time and things like that. So it's funny because we do each other's love language to each other, but it's not as meaningful because it's not our love language, but it comes from the heart. So we need to figure out a date that incorporates quality time and... Acts of service. I know exactly what we can do. What? We should do. Have you seen the date where you come up with different categories and like each one, like favorite color, favorite snack, favorite this, and we'll like walk into like a Target and we each go one way? Yes, you did show me this before. We can do that because that's quality time and acts of service. Yeah, I'm done uh, for that. more like receiving gifts, but... Wait, what was my top one? Yours was acts of service, 33%, and then receiving gifts was below that. How do we incorporate acts of service? I'll do just you think... clean the house for you. Okay. <laughs> I'll sit there and tell you you look handsome while I clean the house. No, but the words of affirmation, it wasn't about just complimenting, like, oh, you look good. It's more so like... I'm proud of you. I appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, or like but yours hearing is quality me, time. Hearing me out when I have something important to say. Yes, that is That's important like to you. That's like more of what I'm talking about. Yes. What was mine again? Okay, yeah. So mine was acts of service and yours is quality time. Which I agree. My favorite thing to do is just hang out with you. Even if we're not oh. like hanging out, just being in each other's presence is yes. the best. I feel like that like um, category thing could work. Like we come up with like a list of like something in your favorite color, your favorite snack, something, whatever. And we like go walk around the store. Definitely. Because that's kind of like acts of service. Like you're doing something for me, kind of. Because I don't know how else we would incorporate acts of service into a date could think about it we could just do sunday cleaning acts of service and quality time <laughs> we can clean together <laughs> i know you love acts of service that's why i always try to do shit for you you know yeah but i i love acts of service and gift giving and i do that all the time for you whereas i should be doing more quality time words of affirmation and physical touch i have that's no what... complaints though okay you bring me gifts you do yeah. say nice things to me yeah. physical touch yeah all of that yeah. Like, I don't have any complaints. Yeah. It's just we both favor our love languages, you know? Yeah. I don't know if I fully agree with that. No. Because I've known for a while since we first took it that you prefer acts of service and gift giving over everything. I didn't know you prefer quality time. I thought yours was physical touch and words of affirmation. Nah, I think... So I've learned something new today. Yeah, as I've grown up, I think it's switched to just, just quality time. Just being in each other's presence. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You do. Yeah. As you've gotten older, yeah. Fun. Okay. Yeah. So maybe we'll do that date. Or if we think of something else, we'll do it within the week. Okay. Let's go get Japanese food and do our wedding save dates. Fun, right? Okay, we just went and got our food. Zane made me a nice cocktail. Got into a nice big comfy tea. I actually forgot I was supposed to do my workout today, so I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning instead. Got our dinner. We're gonna do our save the dates. We're gonna watch, uh, what's it called? I don't know, we're still deciding. Suits, oh, suits. You wanna watch suits? Suits. Oh, we're gonna say L or Let's do suits. We got a lot of that to get through. I got a spicy tuna roll, a Philadelphia roll, and a connie salad. And I got eel sauce on the side too. Wow. Yum. All right, success you guys. We got our date planned out. You guys will see next week. We planned it for next Wednesday. And we got all of our save the dates all packaged up with the little wax seal on them. And they have no options for stamps online. So I'm gonna go in person to USPS tomorrow and see what they have because they literally only had one option online for like a more expensive stamp with the wax seal. So see my options tomorrow. But other than that, that concludes. Thank you, Bench. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again to Factor for sponsoring this video. Make sure you go check them out down below and use my discount code. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. It's funny, it's like a good watch. Cats? Stop it! Stop it! Shh, do not eat that. Ooh. All right, I did my, <clears throat> hello? Oh, good. Doobie. This freaking gnat has been bothering me for like the last five days. So we scratched a different one. Scratched.